Hello and welcome to Do It Yourself RC. Today I'm going to show you how I installed the Raspberry Pi 3 into a One How D7 SLA printer. Are you ready? So then, this is actually the version 1.2 printer. I believe the new 1.3 printer will have a built in fan on the rear shroud. Now when you first take the front plate and the back plate off the printer, you'll find at the back, the HDMI socket is on this side and it just unplugs, it's just a fly lead at the back, that, that goes to these back connections. So you can plug the HDMI lead and you can also unplug the USB lead. So what I've gone and bought is a very short HDMI lead and also the shortest one I could find a 90 degree USB A to a USB, I think it's a C, is it that? Just a very short one, but it needs to be elbowed. Um, so either a left or a right elbow will do. And then to power the Raspberry Pi, I actually um, bought all this stuff from eBay. So for this for eBay, I actually Googled 12 volt to micro USB um, and this came. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna solder the positive and the negative to the front switch. So this will actually turn on when the power button's pressed and that will power the Pi. The Pi is a Raspberry 3. Now these actually come with a built-in Wi-Fi but Nano DLP doesn't support the inbuilt Wi-Fi at the moment. So I've just stuck an old USB Wi-Fi on the back. So what I'll do now, I'll quickly solder this to the button. I've actually got double-sided tape on the back so I'm gonna stick that there Solder it to the button and then I'll put this on the front and I'll plug it all in and show you it later. So, back in a bit. So I've quickly soldered on, positive and negative. On this actual button of the 1.2, I just I, I have just pushing um, spade connectors, but the actual button didn't light up. So I actually added a little red jumper wire from the positive out to actually, if you have a look closely on the button, there's um, a pin just marked with a positive, um, and that's for the LED. So I added that, and I've just added this little micro USB power, which outputs at five volts, which is ideal for the Raspberry Pi. So I'm not actually gonna put the rear back on until I get the upgraded rear with a fan. So all I'm gonna do now, I've did, pulled off the USB that was already in there and I've pulled out the HDMI cable that was already there so what I'm going to do I'm going to put in the new one take off the plastic and and you can see it in there I'm just going to push this in make sure I get it the right way around There we go, just clicked in nice. And that's long enough, I'll do the USB one now. Now if you're not familiar with SLA printers, what they actually require is a USB connection to your PC to move the Z axis up and down, but it also requires um, a HDMI input to project the image that you want to print onto the actual printer screen. So you need both so of course needing both means that you have to have a, um, a PC or a Raspberry Pi or some sort of image processing unit to output HDMI. Now on my big, on my main PC, I've got, actually goes this way, on my main PC, I've already got three screens attached, so I can't really use it. And also your screens have to be set on all the time, obviously while it's printing. So it means that they could be on for hours and hours at a time. So the Raspberry Pi is actually ideal. So I've connected up the USB, the HDMI. I'm just going to connect these up into, connect these up to the actual Pi now. Cheers, we'll go for that one there. And then we'll plug in the HDMI. I'm going to connect and secure the button up to the front of the machine now. So like I say on mine, I just had little spade connectors. So 
bit fiddly to just uh, bear with me for this one so negative on the bottom and then just to make sure I get these the right way around input plus which is marked as the common to the middle that's on and then the last one which goes to your power board at the side. If you're doing this and you're not sure, I'd recommend you just take a picture of the socket and the cables, or even just mark the two red wires up before you take them off so you know. Worst thing is if you get the red wires mixed up, your button won't work and the print will just come on as soon as you plug it in. Okay. So that's all done. Now I'm going to push the wires in. I'm going to secure the front. Let's grab that wire there. Make sure you don't trap your LCD ribbon cable at the far side when you, when you add it back on. And I've got the red cable fouling on the little bracket at the bottom. There we go. There we go. So we'll screw that on now. As soon as I find my screws. Two screws either side. Pretty easy actually to uh, service this machine. And like I say, I'm not actually gonna put the back on just for heat dissipation at the moment until I receive my new 1.3 version back housing which has got the included 60 millimeter fan which uh, which put there to to keep everything nice and cool inside uh, it's also should extend the life of the led the inf the um the led at the bottom the cooler you can keep that the longer it's going to last so these two the two cables that are connected to the back will no longer function. So these two ports here will no longer function, unfortunately, but this will make it completely wireless. So I'll plug that in there. So I've got power, I've got HDMI, I've got the USB, and of course I've got the wireless link to it. And then I'm gonna use a bit of double-sided tape. I'm going to stick the Raspberry Pi inside the machine. And then it'll be completely wireless. I won't have to worry about my PC being on all the time. I can just send prints straight to it via a web page. And then that'll be it. Job done. I think it'll just make this machine that much more usable for me. So, a bit of a tight squeeze for this pie. There we go. Stick it to the side there. Put the aerial in. And that's pretty much job done. Like I say, I'm not going to put the back on, but if I did, the back fits nicely. Just two more screws in that and it'll be done. And the only thing then I need to plug in is a power lead. And I can connect it with my Wi-Fi and start prints and monitor externally as well. And that's about it. Hope this has helped some people. Please subscribe down below and um, well, take care and see you soon.